Hello everyone. Welcome to Swiss Technologies. And I am Santosh. I'm, I will be teaching you the JavaScript in detail. And uh, right now in this video, we will learn about what is JavaScript and importance of the JavaScript in a brief view. Okay. So coming to JavaScript, we all know JavaScript is a programming language, which is uh, like given a trending, like a revolution for the web browsing. So you take any browser in the world which are using like uh, any web browsers or any uh, like uh, any web browsers or any applications in the front end point of view everything we are using the javascript as a base so javascript i can say learning javascript as a main evergreen uh, solution for both front end and back end developers as back end we can learn java or php or else any other technologies but in the front end, we have only the JavaScript and apart from JavaScript, we have so many frameworks which we'll learn in detail in the further sessions. So, as I said to you before, JavaScript is in, got a revolution over all the web development in the world and also it used it for journey and basically JavaScript has become as a heart of uh, web technologies. So, whoever is doing web development or front end developer or else who is planning to learn web development everything javascript is the main and core important without javascript you can't do anything in the web technologies so coming to main core concepts here in the javascript uh, they are mostly we will learn about the basic core concepts like variables functions objects arrays and what are the building blocks and what is the importance of um, means like of few programming languages like loops or else conditional statements everything we will learn about detail in the javascript syntax okay so next we have as i said you right before in the starting introduction we, uh, slide that is in javascript we, we can use many frameworks in that we have angular react view backbone.js or ember.js so right now here the main and trending technologies like the trending uh, experience is react we are using angular is an old one which is created by google react is created by meta and views created by other meta a company so here these are the few different different uh, frameworks which are uh, created by different different uh, companies but the present um, everyone user interface best to use user experience and also easy to code and have greater communities react compared to other technologies so uh, here you will learn about the synchronous programming and asynchronous programming like for example uh, for example let's assume you are getting a gmail you're using everyone is using gmail right so in gmail you will have inbox outbox important messages emails or like a start or bin emails everything you can see when you click on each each tabs right how you are seeing it so once you click on the tab that tab will uh, call and request api to the back end where it will fetch the data and it will show you to the front end these are the mails of the inbox these are the mails start mails and these are the outbox mails and these are the draft mails so that is how means uh, if you have thousand let's assume we have thousand or ten thousand mails you will have right which we are not using so at that time you can see where um to collecting all the 10,000 mails at a time it takes time for the browser to show it to you so in the meantime you will think of it as like uh, it's taking time or as the network issue or as the application issue so to rectify those and to work on the further functions we will use a synchronous flow which is called asynchronous so sometimes you are using the starting operations here and it's working on data and you will get the response that is how the synchronous flow will happen i will tell you in detail in the further classes what is synchronous and asynchronous and what are the operations we will use in that so as i said you right um in javascript not only the um, uh, like a back end or front end uh, like uh, we will use everything like uh, how we are using the data uh, coming from the database and we can show data where uh, data anyway for example uh, like uh, let's take a previous example like mail only you have n number of mails inbox we have and outbox also you have but you will have a case like important messages which you will uh, flag it or star the keep a star mark so those will be data will be 
kept here directly in the outbox mail but you will show it in the inbox I means start separately compared to the other why because that is called data manipulation which is array manipulation or data fetching or object iteration everything like a, a shadow or shadowing object or deep shadow shallow phasing everything we will show it in the water in the javascript with the help of javascript language we can show it in the ui part apart from backend which we are using node.js so we can say javascript is and hereby i am concluding like a javascript is in versatile means it's like a water where if you for example if you keep water in a glass it will take a shape of glass if you clip it in bowl it will take a shape of bowl same like that javascript it is in both we can use it in a front end and back end technologies and we can use it as a complete full stack where it will be a base complete foundational base for the web development structure so i hope you got a clarity in everything what is javascript and basic introduction of it thank you